Hello everybody, Crips here and welcome. There you go, welcome. So what are we doing today? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can create your very own motion path, your custom motion path. So the Video Studio 6 has given you a few samples, but you can now create your own. So how do we do that? Well, bear with me and I will show you. Uh, first off, you'll need some footage because you're gonna to have to track a, a particular footage. So I uh, took the liberty of setting up all my camera work and lighting and everything and uh, came up with this. Yep, awesome, isn't it? <laughs> That's professional right there. Let me mute it because uh, you don't need the sound effects, do you? I don't think so. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to track this path. I'm going to track the, the fan oscillating. And by doing that, I'm going to create my very own uh, motion path. So very simple. Let's just go right to the beginning. I'm going to select my clip, click, click on track motion, and I'm just going to track maybe just this corner here of the, of the fan, and then press record. So it's going to track that path of the uh, fan oscillating. There you go. All right, so now I've created my very own path. Uh, if I just press OK, let's just run a test on that. Yes, test. All right. All right. Uh, match to motion. Okay. And let's have a test of that. So there you go. Uh, I created a nice little motion path. It's following the, the following the fan quite nicely. Now I want to keep that and then use it for other footages or other videos. Why must I use it just on this video? Well, you don't. You can do whatever you want with it. So let's get rid of that because we don't need it. Let's go back into here. Select a track. This is what we want. We want to save just the, the path, the motion path. I don't want the video clip. I just want the path. So I'm going to do here. I'm going to save to my path library. And I'm going to save it in my customs folder. Press OK. Wow, successful. Good. So now if I go back into here where it says all my paths... If I go into customs, voila, I now have created my very own path. What can I do with that? Well, let's go back into, say, text. Let's test that once again. And now all I need to do is apply that path to this text. So let's go back into my library, click and drag. And let's just add some time to that. Now you'll notice that the text immediately got enlarged. So in order to, to make it smaller, uncheck this. Use text box for motion. We don't want that. There you go. And now it's just following the path nicely. So there you go. So you can come up with some pretty cool things. Uh, Corral Videos YouTube page did a nice one with a uh, a cup on a string and then just did sort of a pendulum effect and it was really neat because it's very natural looking swing so you can come up with some really cool things like bouncing balls follow the path and then add your f whatever you want to it a, a clip anything you want so now in the last uh, video clip I sh mentioned that I was going to give away three copies of video studio 6 and how to do that well it's very simple I'm gonna a little bit of fun uh, Go to my uh, How to Make a Ghost Effect video. Um, it's up to you. <laughs> if you want to win it or not, you can watch this. Now, uh, in this tutorial, I, I, I tell you I went to school for to do what? I went to school to do what? I only went to school to do one thing. Once you find out what that is, create your very own text path or your motion like I just showed you here and just put that word on that path and then send me the video and the first three people to do so shall win a free copy of Video Studio 6. And as always, you guessed it, thanks for joining me.